Okay, we are boarding the Ama Magna. This ship is unique in that it is twice as wide as any other river cruise ship on the market. Literally twice as wide, but the same length. So what that means is more public spaces, bigger cabins, and there's only 25% more people on board than any other ship. So what that means is only 25% more people and 75% more space or 100% more space and only 25% more people. And we're gonna be starting here in Budapest and we will go all the way up the Danube ending in Germany. We've got some pretty cool stops. Hello. This is for social media, so welcome on board. Thank you. So we've made it on board. I'm gonna show you around the ship in just a minute, but our room was ready. So they brought us back to our room and showed us around and you've got to see this cabin. So part of the Alma Magna being a bigger ship means bigger staterooms. And we had a very nice cabin on the Alma Lucia, but this one's even bigger than that. Let me show you this. So this cabin, it is considered a suite. So this is one of the bigger cabins on the ship, but they're all large size cabins. So we've got our bed area, a, a separate couch area. There is a computer which doubles as a TV. So when we were on the Ama Lucia, this was the only TV that we had. And it was across from the bed and it works as a TV and it works as a computer. But on this ship, we also have a full size TV across from the bed. As far as closet space, there's three closets full of shelves, including a safe and mini bar, and then another full size closet. So for two people, you're gonna have more space than you could ever imagine. Plus there's storage down here here, there's storage everywhere. The bathroom is a great situation because number one, these doors close. And so since me and Sarah are friends sharing a room, this is great for us because it, whoever's using the bathroom area can close themselves off and have some private space. But then also the shower and sinks are in one room and the toilet is in a completely different room. So it's very well laid out for a couple or especially for just two friends sharing a room together so that we can have that private space. So that's fantastic. And let's check out the balcony. So this is a very long balcony. We've got the two tables and chairs, but then also additional space just to stand out here. It's a very spacious room. So, you know, whenever we were told that this ship is bigger and now I have something to compare it to. So if you've never been on a river cruise and have never seen the size of these ships, there's not a comparison, but when you have, and you can really tell this ship is wider, it's just very, very more spacious. So I'm excited to sail on this Alma Magna. Now that you've seen the room, let's go out and explore this ship. Okay, if you look here at the deck plan, you can see that there are four decks to a river cruise ship. The top is the upper deck, and that's gonna be your outdoor areas, and then three decks of cabins and eateries and lounges. On decks two and three, there are two different types of cabins. There are the suites like we are in, and then there are the standard rooms. On deck one, those are gonna be the ocean view, not ocean view, river view rooms that have the windows right above the water level. On deck two is the main dining room. You can come here for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. No reservations are needed. And it is seated family style. So if there's only two of you, then you're gonna be seated with others more than likely. Um, or if you have a group, you can make a reservation for a table together. On deck number three is the main lounge and also the 24 hour coffee bar. You can go over there and get coffee, tea, hot chocolate, water, at the little drink station over in the corner. And the main lounge has lots of seating throughout here. The bar is also located in this area and live music. There was live music when we came in earlier and 
throughout the evening and I think at night there's live music as well. The Alfresca restaurant is all the way forward on deck three. Panoramic views off the front of the ship. There are light snacks served in here and also this is one of the specialty dining restaurants. Specialty dining does not cost extra. You just have to make a reservation for it whenever you come in on board the ship with the concierge, which is what I just did. In between the main lounge and the Alfresca restaurant, there is a smaller lounge on either side of the ship with a fireplace, comfortable seating, and big windows. There's also books, so I guess this would kind of be considered the library. You can tell this is the largest river cruise ship in the world when it's got a cinema in it. Yep, something totally different. So on deck three, even further forward in front of the Alfresca restaurant is a small observation deck. This is pretty cool because you can come out here and get those forward facing views as you're going down the river. And here is the staircase to where we can go up to deck four. Okay, we were up on deck four. This is the outside deck of the Ama Magna. And up front, in front of the bridge, here's the bridge right here. But in front of the bridge is lots of big comfortable seating. So as we are going down the river, you can go sit in front of the observation deck or you can come up here and get those amazing river views which I'm really looking forward to. From up here you can really see how wide this ship is because like I said earlier the Ama Magna is twice as wide as any other river cruise ship on the market and because it's so wide it has a pickleball court. Yep this is the only one on a river cruise on this ship. I don't play pickleball myself but I know a lot of people do and I'm sure there's gonna be some people playing later on this cruise. But if you wanna just come and sit and watch people play pickleball or just sit at a table, have you a drink and watch the scenes go by as you sail down the river, there's lots of tables up here with umbrellas. If it's windy, like it's very windy today here in Budapest, the uh, umbrellas are not up, but on a beautiful sunny day, you can come up here and sit under an umbrella. Ama Waterways does have a wellness program and in the mornings there will be outdoor classes, um, stretching, things like that up here on this deck. There's also a walking trail and there are real flowers up here. So there's flower beds here and on the back of the ship. So that's just beautiful. That's something, another little touch that you don't see on very many cruise ships. If you're wanting to just sit and lounge, there's plenty of chairs for that too. There is also a heated pool and hot tub up here on deck four with a bar. So during good weather, which obviously is not right now because it's in the 50s right here in Budapest, but in nice, beautiful, sunny summer weather, you can come lounge out here in the pool and get a cocktail right there. On the aft of the ship, on the outside, you're gonna find a seating area on one side and outdoor exercise bikes on the other. So you can actually do outdoor exercise right here on the back of the ship. And then behind those windows, which the windows do lower, is the gym. So that's pretty neat. So on really good weather, they can open that gym up, lower down the windows, and have that natural breeze come in. Back inside the ship, aft on deck three, is the gym and the spa. This is a nice size gym, so we've been on a prior river cruise and the gym was basically just a small closet. This is a nicer size gym. It's got uh, a couple of treadmills, a couple of bikes, some free weights, and a couple of um, more exercise machines in here, plus the four bikes outside. And finally, deck one, also known as the piano deck, houses some more public areas. There's an actual shop down here. So many of these ships just have like a little corner nook that has a few items for sale where there's a full shop down here. And also the other two specialty dining restaurants. There is Jimmy's Wine Bar and Restaurant, which is on your left. And then on the right is the chef's table. So these specialty dining restaurants do not cost any extra, but you do have to make a reservation. So as soon as you get on board, go check with the concierge and get on the list for all three of the specialty dining restaurants. And then you can go to the main dining room any other night. One thing
thing that's different about river cruising versus an ocean cruising is the way you do your mustard drink. Oh, I think you here, they walk in, you walk in, they hand you a glass of champagne, you sit down and listen to some piano music, and then eventually they're going to show up and do our safety drill for us. local Hungarian restaurant. This is not in the tourist area at all. We asked some locals where to come eat and this was one of the recommendations. Actually from our food tour guide earlier told us about this place. It's Kehli, K-E-H-L-I, -K I hope I'm saying that right, Kehli. The menu is like a book. It's literally a story big story and then page after page after page of uh, thank you the restaurant I will leave a link down below because I don't want to try and butcher it too much but there's so much to order here our waiter pointed out the specials to us and I am going with the stuffed cabbage stuffed with pork and there's a story alone just for that dish also the other reason that we came here is because there is live gypsy music every night and we are seated in the music room so the musicians are taking a little bit of a break right now but I will show you that in a minute and then we're prepared for a very good meal tonight first off let me say how fast this food came out we've been here like 10 minutes since we've ordered and we have our food already. That's incredibly fast. The plating is really nice. It looks like a hearty meal and this portion is ginormous. So I know there's pork stuff in the cabbage and it looks like, it's like shredded and little, oops, I'm gonna make a mess. It's like a mixture of like a shredded cabbage and pork mixture and then you've got the roll of the cabbage as well. So I'm gonna try what's on the outside first. You see that steam coming off of that? Mmm, that is really good. So cabbage is one of those things like you can make it really good or you can make it really, really bad depending on if you know how to cook cabbage. And this is really good. So when I cut into it, that's there's a lot of the minced pork on the inside. Mmm, that's good, that's so much flavor. And we have bread. So this is gonna be a very hearty meal. And the portion's ginormous. I don't think there's any way I can finish this. But I'm trying to save room for dessert because I really wanna try some local desserts. What yeah. did you get? Chicken paprika. Paprika? Yeah. Dumplings. Bread. Very traditional. I think it's going to be delicious. Oh, and that chicken is so... I don't even need a knife. It's just falling apart today. Yeah. It? Oh my god, yes. It's really hot. <laughs> Burn that mouth. It doesn't matter. Good. So good. Just like my grandma made it. So, 10 out of 10. Really good. Very authentic. So the musicians have started playing again. We have amazing food, so this is so good. Like, you know, I always give my first bite impression, but the more you eat this, the better it gets. And there's minced pork in there, but then every now and then you get a big chunk of roasted pork. And just the flavors are really, really just rich and delicious. I took a bite of Sarah's chicken and the paprika really comes through. It's it just falling apart, moist, flavorful. Bread's good, music's good. So these musicians are great. We've got a violinist and a keyboardist. And so he's serenading this table of gentlemen over here right now. I'm not sure if he's gonna come try and serenade us too, we'll see. <laughs> but what an authentic experience that we're having right here. Two thumbs up, this is amazing. to get two desserts to try. So mine is a, what they call a trifle. So there's three different cakes. One is a chocolate, one is a walnut, and I forgot what the other one was with a dollop of cream. So let me give 
They're sponge cakes, so really soft. <laughs> I mean, seriously, my God, that's good. The cake is cold, it's soft and smushy, and it's just like a flavor explosion in your mouth, and I have no idea which of the flavors I just tried, but that's good. Mm. And then next up is a poppy seed bread pudding. Oh my God. So um, the menu has about nine desserts on it. And so we asked the waiter, what should we try? And he puts his hand over the bottom ones and goes, the top four are Hungarian. So we're like, okay, he goes, any of them are good. This bread pudding is very dense. So we had poppy seeds earlier today and discovered I actually like poppy seed. Something I never even knew about. Mmm, and two totally different flavors because the trifle cakes are cold and smushy and this is warm and dense. So two totally different things, but both very good. And the prices here are really good. So those entrees that were massive portions, neither one of us could finish, come up to about $14, $15 USD when you do a conversion. And the desserts come out to about $5. So very good prices here. And the food's yummy. Oh, I'm so stuffed. That was absolutely delicious. Better than I expected. I mean, sometimes when you order cabbage, you're not sure if that's going to be like a good thing or a bad thing, but it was cooked to perfection. The pork was good. The desserts were delicious. The atmosphere was fantastic. Just, it's very ambient, candlelit in there with the, the music. And the wait staff was so quick. I mean, we got our meal very quickly. We got our dessert within like two minutes of ordering. Crazy fast. So we are stuffed and tired and going back to go to sleep because we have a whole day of touring tomorrow. Well, that is a wrap for today. We have enjoyed hanging out on the ship, got off the ship in Budapest to have dinner tonight. If you missed the last video, you need to check that out because that dinner was absolutely amazing. And tomorrow we have tours all day in Budapest as well. So we're going to bed, get a good night's rest and have two tours tomorrow before we sail away at 5.15 tomorrow. So, see you in the morning. Bye.